Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to look at the stochastic error term. By the end of this lesson, you will learn the significance of the error term in econometric models. An econometric model is of the form y equals beta 1 plus beta 2 x plus u. We went ahead and explained that the u parameter you find in the model represents unobserved factors, which are other factors that can affect the dependent variable y, but are not included in the model. We also saw that the unobserved factors can also be called the error or the disturbance term. So why do we have to include the error term in a regression model? The first one happens to be vagueness of theory. Normally, the theory determining the behavior of the dependent variable might be incomplete. For example, we know about the consumption theory where income affects consumption, but we might be ignorant or perhaps not sure of other factors that can affect consumption. So the parameter u is used as a substitute for any variable we might have omitted from this model. The second one is unavailability of data. We may not have enough quantitative information about some variables we wish to observe in an econometric model. So these variables may not be included in the model. So we go ahead and substitute the U parameter in their place. The third one is core variables versus peripheral variables. In the consumption income model, income is deemed as a core variable which affect consumption just as the consumption theory implies. That is why we often hear the term all other factors held constant. So we are just simply looking at the effects of income only on consumption, just like the consumption theory states. However, there are other variables that can also affect consumption, which we normally don't include in the consumption function. Some of these variables include education, size of the household, religion, and several others, which may also go away to affect consumption. But information on let's say religion may not be available or perhaps it is rather difficult to measure. So we go ahead and omit it from the model. And that is why we include the error term to represent all those variables that we normally exclude from the model. The fourth one is intrinsic randomness in human behavior. Even if all relevant variables are captured in the model, the human tendency to be biased or make errors in measurement or methodology can simply not be overlooked at. So we go ahead and include the error term to account for any errors that a human being may make in estimating econometric models. The fifth one is poor proxy variables. There may be a lack of information on a particular variable in the model. For example, you might want to examine the effect of intelligence quotient or ICL on the salary earned by workers. This IQ variable may be very difficult to measure. So you might choose a proxy such as scores on mathematics. If these math scores used as a proxy or substitute for IQ is a poor one, then it would have very serious implications for estimating the model. We just simply place the U parameter in the econometric model as a result. The sixth one is principle of parsimony. Here, we exclude all irrelevant variables from the model and we include only the relevant ones. For example, in estimating the factors affecting demand for a good, you may include factors like the price of the good, price of related goods, income of the consumer, but you may exclude factors like taste and preference or weather conditions because these may be deemed as irrelevant to the model. And so we exclude them, then we go ahead and include the U parameter in the econometric model in order to substitute for some of these irrelevant variables that we exclude from econometric models. The seventh one is wrong functional form. There are times you may decide to use a logarithmic transformed variables in your model. Meanwhile, the usual untransformed variables can answer the questions you see from the model. Therefore, this can lead to a misspecification of the econometric model and pose serious concerns about a methodology you apply. So we go ahead and include the U parameter to account for any unexplained relationships in our models. In the next lesson, we will look at 
to variable regression analysis and learn concepts such as linearity, expectation, and others.